Yes, boys, welcome back to this brand new FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Foot Swaps July video. I have made this video, I'm pretty sure, for the last two months, and support on it was massive, so I thought, you know what, I will definitely go ahead and make a video on it this month. We've got 26 days remaining for this. Um, they've released a lot of different cards for the footies this month. Um, Obviously, it's foot swaps, but they've based it around footies, which is obviously very, very good that they've done that. They've obviously brought a promo into, like, another promo almost, and they don't usually do that. Like, for example, when it's team of the year, we didn't have team of the year based footies. When it was team of the season, we we didn't really have team of the season based footies, apart from the Bundesliga team of the season guarantee last foot swaps. But apart from that, foot swaps usually isn't the greatest, but this one really does look very, very good. Um... Make sure you do go ahead and check my other video out. I just released a video on the footies voting day two SBC. We did actually pack a man of the match, so make sure you do check that video out. Um, but you are going to get a free token, so I thought I'd show you this at the beginning of the video. Uh, you're going to get a free token, and it is based like a black pink card for footies, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it says foot swap deals X. So everyone, when you log on at FIFA 19, you should have this in your club. So make sure you go over to it, obviously to send it into your club but you obviously are going to have to save up a lot of cards to be able to get these cards that are in the foot swap deals i'm pretty sure there's a lot of players here that you all do want so i'm pretty sure you're on this video because you're unsure on which one to go ahead and do which one to save up for stuff like that you need to save five up for the ultimate pack which is very very easy and i'm pretty sure it might be repeatable so you may be able you may be thinking Shall I go ahead, save up 10 cards instead of getting the mid-icon pack and do an ultimate pack twice? In my opinion, no. You should go for the mid-icon pack over the ultimate pack every single day of the week. Um, obviously, the jumbo premium gold pack is out of the question. Don't go for that. Rare mega pack, obviously a 55k pack. Very, very good pack. You can get lucky in it quite often. But in my opinion, overall, I would say to you... Do not go for this because it just kind of doesn't really make sense to go ahead and put three cards into a rare mega pack. It just, it really isn't worth it. So I really do not recommend that to you. So don't do that. Uh, we obviously got Daniel Vass here for three footies cards. So for the same as a rare mega pack, you can get yourself a Daniel Vass, which is a very, very good card overall. Obviously a 90 rated card. Taking a look at him, he genuinely does look very, very good. Um, five foot eleven, high medium, three star weak foot, four star skill moves, um, ninety nine stamina. So overall, a very very good card, a very all round card as well. Um, obviously, his defensive stats are very good, and he's very good in attack as well. So for three foot swap cards, I can't lie to you, that's a very very good option. I really do believe so. I feel like he does have a team of season. I know that. But this 90 rated card with a new design, I really like the footies design this year. I really do think it looks very, very good. Um, so obviously keep your options open. For free foot, foot, foot swap cards, in my opinion, I would say it's probably worth it to get yourself a Daniel Vass. But then obviously you've got Promise for four. So instantly you are looking at this thinking... Why would I get Daniel Vass for free when I can save up four and get Promes? Obviously, this Promes card genuinely is incredible. We know how good Promes is on FIFA. He really is a very, very good card. A very all-round card, obviously. You can play him. He is right-footed, so the best place to play him, in my opinion, is left attacking mid in a 4 3 one He's 5 foot nine, high-low, 5-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot. Obviously, it's so important when a player gets through to shoot on both feet, and obviously, Promise has that, and he's got the 5-star skill moves. Obviously, stamina 99 as well, a 97 jumping. His finishing's out of this world, 95. This card's like almost a better team of season. It really does look out of this world, so I highly recommend this card. Just for completing 4 as well, it really is worth it worth it in my opinion so if you are thinking about that and you're unsure i'll definitely look at doing that because i really do think it is a good idea a footies winner for four four items definitely uh obviously we got the ultimate pack for five items and then we've got footies jerome boateng so we're kind of getting onto the big boy cards now these are the cards that we're all looking at thinking oh shall i go ahead and get him shall i get him you're unsure on who you do want to get um so taking a look at Boateng's card, we do know Boateng on FIFA 19 is a very good card. He's very, very tall, but in my opinion, the stamina always seems to let him down and the balance and the agility, he feels really, really clunky on the ball this year and obviously he dies out and he feels like really slow late on in games. I don't know why. He just doesn't feel as good this year as he has done in previous years. I would usually say he's a go-to defender in previous FIFAs, but this year I wouldn't say he's a defender that you look at and you say, oh my God, I really need him 
in my team. I really want him. I just don't think it's like that anymore. Um, but he does have 82 jumping with 91 base physical on the card. 75 stamina, so obviously not the greatest stamina. But 75 is a big upgrade from the normal card. I'm pretty sure the normal card might be on like 69. Maybe something lower than that. Um, he does have 99 strength, 88 aggression. Obviously great defensive stats as expected. Agility and balance is quite low, which of course is an issue keep in mind. Um... He's got 96 reactions, 82 ball control, 75 dribbling and 99 composure. So again, dribbling stats overall, very, very good on a 6'4 centre-back. You kind of expect a 6'4 player to be very clunky on the ball, very all over the place, ball bouncing off him, stuff like that. Obviously, his balance is poor, so that will happen still slightly a little bit. But obviously, he does have good dribbling, his composure is good. He's got the passing that you need. Obviously, he can play a long pass if you do need that. And he can also play a short pass with 86 short pass and obviously 96 long pass. So overall, passing stats, very, very good. Very all-round. 87 shot power as well. Very, very good. Uh, so overall, seven cards to get yourself a footy Boateng. In my opinion, a very good card. Same rating as like a team of season Boateng in the past. So if you are looking and you have like Da Costa, a right back, this guy could be perfect. Perfect to link into Da Costa and then maybe like Timo season Goretzka at centre mid. You can have a trio with Da Costa, Boateng and Goretzka. Um, and then if you're thinking, oh, I want a keeper, go ahead, throw Neuer in there. Something like that. But into the right back here, we have got Munier. In my opinion, a very, very good right back on FIFA 19. Because he's six foot three and his agility is quite low, he always feels very, very clunky on the ball. And I just don't like the feel of him at right back. Um... If you were to complete this card, I'd say you go ahead and complete him um, and throw him on the bench and use him as like a CDM super sub. Uh, but personally, out of all the options here, I wouldn't go for Thomas Munier for nine foot... Uh, foot swap cards I just don't feel like this card's worth it obviously he's got amazing overall card stats but just the agility and the way he feels in game for me I just don't think he's worth nine foot swap cards I feel like you're better off saving the extra one for the mid icon or saving the extra three for the Davidson Sanchez or for example the extra 14 for the Marcus Rashford but Overall, a very good card, like I have said already. Um, a very all-round card, great um, defensive stats, 99 stamina, 94 strength. Pretty much can be running all game. Very, very good all rounded card. Very good option. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to sit here and say he's an awful card. Because we can all see on the screen here how good this guy's card actually is. He's got four-star weak foot, high, high work rate. So for a right back, that's very good. If he does go up, he can get straight back. And same with if he's CDM, if you want to play him there, he'll be going up the pitch but you'll always be getting back because he's high high i would prefer it if he was medium high of course but you can't obviously get everything on a card and this guy does have pretty much everything apart from the balance agility and then obviously the work rates high high but the work rates aren't as much of an issue in my opinion as like the balance and the agility they really do let it down slightly but overall, I'm not going to sit here and complain because it genuinely is a very, very good card. A very good option by EA. Uh, but into the mid-icon pack, I'm pretty sure it's the same as last month. You need 10 foot swap items and you're going to get yourself a mid-icon player. So if this is the one you are saving up for again and you're hoping to get lucky in this, you can never, ever go wrong with a mid-icon pack, obviously. Even if you get someone bad, submit him into an icon SBC and then go ahead and do it like that. If you don't get any, if you get someone good like Vieira, like Roberto Carlos, like Sokka, Socrates, like Eusebio, um, the list goes on, Hullet, there's so many good icons out there, if you get one of them then you genuinely are sorted, obviously it's quite rare that you are going to go ahead and get one, but you genuinely never do, you honestly never know, so obviously keep going and just keep saving them up and you will see eventually which one you do want to complete, but this is definitely a good one, so don't look at it and turn away and think, nah, I don't think this is the best one to do, um, but definitely, a very, very good one to complete. But then into the final two here, we've got Davinson Sanchez and Marcus Rashford. Obviously, you're going to need 12 for Davinson Sanchez and 14 for Rashford. Two very, very desirable cards. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are eyeing up this Davinson Sanchez. He's a very good centre-back on FIFA 19. A very, very overpowered centre-back. A very overused centre-back. A lot of people love this guy, and he's very, very good. Very easy to link into teams since he's in the Premier League. You could have like a defence with Team of the Year Van Dyke and Sanchez, and then Team of the Team of the Year De Gea and Net. It's just an unbelievable team that you can actually build around this guy. Um, 
to taking a look at the team he's got 94 physicality with 83 jumping 87 stamina 95 strength 99 aggression 91 interceptions 89 heading accuracy 94 marking 95 stand tackle and 98 slide tackle so again defensive and physical stats very very good very all round dribbling stats being 84 and 75 agility as well very very good very all round yet again sorry about that so overall a very good card in my opinion obviously he has the dribbling he has the pace he has everything you need from a center back including ball control all the way to the pace all the way to the shot power as well obviously stamina is good enough so overall in my opinion a very very well-rounded card a very very viable option in my opinion i would be torn between davinson sanchez at the mid icon and Jerome Boateng if you are looking for like a centre back. If you're looking for a super sub, I'll definitely consider getting yourself Promes because four items for this Promes card, you cannot go wrong. Obviously the ultimate pack's a good option, but it's quite rare you're gonna get lucky in it. You never know, there's a lot of ultimate packs going out there that you did see yesterday that were incredible. So it could be worth doing the ultimate pack, potentially getting lucky in that. Um, but finally, into the Rashford card, we haven't talked about this card yet. He's got 88 physicality with 75 jumping, 96 stamina, 86 strength, 85 aggression and 92 heading accuracy, 99 agility, 87 balance, 89 reactions, 90 ball control, 95 dribbling and 85 composure. Overall, of course, Footy's card Rashford is incredible. He's a tall striker that's got five star skills, four star weak foot. He's right footed, high medium. Everything about this card is just perfect. He genuinely is one of the greatest cards on this game in my opinion, taking a look at him, one of the greatest attackers. He's extremely quick, so no one's going to get near him, and he's very tall, and obviously he can shoot on both feet. He has everything you need in a striker. If you just look at this card, out of this world. He's got the stamina, agility, balance, heading accuracy, good in the air, good aggression, good strength. He has everything you need from a striker, so in my opinion, if you need an attacker, I would genuinely save up for this Marcus Rashford. 14 items, of course. You're going to get yourself an incredible card, though, that isn't even as good as half the icons on FIFA 19. But let me know in the comment section down below, who are you going to go ahead and pick for Foot Swaps July? Shout out to Packy Bale for the thumbnail. I really appreciate him going out his way and making thumbnails for me. It really does mean the world. But I really, really hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you do go ahead, drop a like on it, comment in the comment section down below. Who are you going to save up for? If you need any, any help, make sure you drop a comment, anything, or just DM me on Twitter, McCartney underscore Ben. I will respond over there. If not, go ahead, follow me on Instagram, McCartney, no, yeah, McCartney YT. It's about the same way as my YouTube channel, but just YT at the end. And just hit me up over there. I'll let you know anything you need to know. But I really hope you have enjoyed today's video. Drop a like on it if you have. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're trying to get to 2.8K subscribers. We're grinding really, really hard. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, like I said, and peace out.